joined by Ward 6 Councillor, Stittsville Councillor, Chad Godry. How are you? Good morning, Kirk. Good, uh, good to be back in your neighborhood, my Thank friend. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, it's just uh, less than a year ago that we were here. You're still here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's been an election in between the time yes, that we've been uh, here, and things are going nicely, eh? Very well, thank you. And yeah. uh, the community is growing, and community is progressing going forward. We've had some additions since last time. First of all, the weather is much nicer than last year. True enough. Well, I thank you for that. <laughs> uh, what else is, uh, has changed in the, in the last year uh, since we've been here? Well, we've had an addition of a new fire station in the community. We were working on the Goulburn Recreation Complex, adding another ice surface to it. Oh, really? So, which should be open by January of this coming year. And uh, obviously, our economic base is growing. We've got lots of businesses coming in. I guess. Especially on Hazeldean Road since its expansion. Yeah. So, that's all good. You did. Chad, right now you're uh, you're the councillor in one of the fastest growing, fastest moving communities in our area. There's no question about it, eh? Yes, it is, and uh, we're getting a little bit of competition from Barhaven, but uh, I think we'll outpace them this year and next year. Yeah. Uh, additional, uh, uh, you know, fire services, additional recreation facilities, all go hand in hand with a community that is growing in, in leaps and bounds, right? Yes, and our community right now is 26,000 strong. And within the next 15 years, with the addition of the Fernbank lands, we're projected to be about 60,000 people no in kidding. the next 15 to 20 years. Is that too fast? Uh, some people say that, but I think uh, as long as you manage the growth better uh, properly and as long as the infrastructure fills in behind the growth, then I think it's a good for the community to grow. Obviously, it's something you keep a close watch on. Uh, you know, you see uh, businesses coming into your community. Um, the new Sobe store, for example, is huge. There's uh, the new, uh, the, that mall where the Lowe's is, is huge. Uh, and there's another one that's uh, supposed to spring up uh, in the very near future. You, you obviously have to keep a watch on that and make sure things are, are going hand in hand with the, the growing population in this area, right? And that's very true, Kurt. And what we're trying to do is, uh, you know, in the main part of the community, which is Stittsville Main Street, try to keep the small uh, town feeling or village feeling. And on Hazel, you know, that's where most of the uh, bigger businesses are locating. And I think that's a good uh, divide between the two yeah. and uh, to help support both and not just one. Yeah. We've had, uh, we've talked to lots of residents who have uh, been here in Stittsville for, for decades. Uh, and now there's a lot of new, new residents coming in and more in the future. Obviously, you've got to renew and, and you know, see a new development when it comes to homes in this area and not just, uh, you know, the homes that have been here for, for decades. And that's the successful makeup of a successful community where you, you know, starting your family in this community and you, when you retire and when you become a senior, you still have a place to live within the community yeah. rather than, you know, going somewhere else. And I think that's the key mark of a community that you can live, work, play throughout your life in the community. Exactly. And uh, I'm sure you'll be uh, continuing to work on improvements in transportation and that sort of thing. That's another issue you've got to deal with as the area council, right? That's very true. And, uh, you know, where we're located this morning used to be the old railway, uh, railway tracks in this community. Yeah. And maybe it's time to look at uh, visiting that issue again to connect the outside outlying communities with the city of Ottawa. They're right here. Yeah. Yeah. Chad, always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you, Kurt. Good to see you. Thank you very much, and Chad. thanks for bringing the CTV family out here. Oh, it's morning. great to be here along with Magic 100 and Bob FM. I believe uh, somebody just had a winner of uh, lots of money around here. They brought cash, those radio stations. Eh? <laughs> they did. They brought and... cash. Uh, we uh, we brought cheese, Chad. <laughs> Actually, cheese, our, our friends from Sobeys brought cheese. We're going to sample in a few minutes. Uh, we'll be back with more of CTV Morning Live right after this, live from Stitchville this morning. Talk to